Today we're going to be covering how to add a Minecraft server to your Pterodactyl panel, but also to add a plugin to it as well. So we're going to head over into our admin panel, we're going to head over to nodes, we're going to head to London 1, allocation, and then from here we can set our IP address, our IP alias, and our port is going to be 25565, which is the default Minecraft port in TCP format. Now, if you have access to your back-end firewall, you want to make sure that in UFW IP tables, you open port 25565 TCP. Uh, if you're also a Bitania client, you want to make sure that you have this open in your firewall and filter manager and also apply any filters relating to Minecraft. So we're going to hit submit, heading over to servers now, create new, and we'll just click Minecraft testing. We'll set the server owner as myself. We're going to initialize the server once it starts. Uh, sorry, we're going to initialize the server once it's installed. We'll make sure that our default allocation is selected. Now, the application feature uh, limits is basically, do you want allocation limits? Do you want a database? Do you want backups? So if you don't want databases associated to your server, set this to zero. In most cases, you don't really need to, but for Minecraft, where a lot of the plugins do actually have database systems behind them, you can set this to one, two, however many you want, as long as you have the database backend set up. If you do not have it set up, you will not be able to create any databases. So if that's in a different guide relating to Pterodactyl, but it's something that you can definitely look to do if you have that backend set up. In this case, we're not gonna be using it, so I'm gonna leave it at zero. The backup limit is pretty much as it sounds. If you would like to take full backups of your service, you can set the limit as to how many backups can be saved on the service to one, two, however many you want. Uh, I'm gonna leave it at zero because I don't need backups. This is just for testing. Uh, but basically set that to five. You're allowed to take five full backups of your servers. You can download them, delete them, restore them, whatever you want, and you can just rotate throughout the week or the month as well. So moving on to resource management, we're not going to be pinning uh, any threads or how much percentage of CPU it's allowed to use. So we're going to ignore CPU limit and CPU pinning. If you're running multiple servers on a dedicated server or a VPS, you probably would want to look into pinning or limiting the amount of resources that can be used. The same goes for the memory, but in this case, we're not going to. So we're just going to set this to zero memory limit and zero disk space limit. So this basically means it can use as much as what it needs to. Uh, our next configuration is going to be fairly simple. We're just going to select Minecraft and then we're going to be using paper for this instance. Now you can go and download more uh, pterodactyl eggs quite easily. So there is a gentleman called Parker VCP who has an incredible list of any type of egg that you can think of for pterodactyl to let you host all kinds of services from games to TeamSpeak servers to Discord uh, backends uh, for bots. I mean, um, it, it's absolutely incredible. 100% I would go and look into this if you're looking to add more. But in terms of Minecraft, he also has a bunch of Minecraft eggs as well, not just for Bedrock, but for Java and the proxy servers as well. So 100% if you're looking to do Minecraft, I would look to make sure you're getting the correct egg for what it is that you're wanting to do. So we're just gonna leave that as paper. We're not gonna be messing with the start configuration or the service variables and leave them as they are. But if you wanted to download a different version of Minecraft, this is where you would set it. So we're gonna be using the latest, but if you wanted 1.17.8, you could do that. You just set what you want. So we're gonna create a server. It's gonna be starting to set everything up. We're gonna hit this little arrow here inside the uh, square box. That's gonna take us to our service. So this is installing and starting the service. All we wanna do is we just wanna get past this main function first so that we have all of our base files downloaded. And then once that's done, we can then move on to adding a plugins because this is it. This is now at the end of the Minecraft installation process. Once that world has been generated and it tells us, hey, your server is online, you can then connect in game. All right, so our service is now online. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop the service. I'm gonna go to files and there is a plugins folder under files. There'll be one folder in here called bstats. This is generated by Minecraft when you go to install it. There's no real configuration that you need for this. It's already done for you. 
what we're going to be looking to do is look at downloading plugins and adding them to our server. So I've already downloaded two plugins that I'm just going to use for an example, which is Essentials X and Essentials X Chat. So what you have access to is places like Spigot MC or CurseForge, where you can download resources that you want for your server that other people have made that are very popular or just quality of life things that you want. So I'll leave all of these links in the description below, but for the testing purposes that we're going to be using, I have already gotten for this. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to drag and drop them into that folder. There we go. So now dragging in. So it's basically just a .jar file. You drop it into the plugins folder, and then once you start your server the next time, they will then compile themselves and it will create the config files and folder structure that you need to be able to make modifications. So for now, this is all we've got. We've just got two jar files. We'll start our server. It'll run through the process as normal, but now we should see that it's actually started Essentials X. And then what we can do from there is we can actually go in. There we go. And then we can actually go in and configure these to how we want them. So under files now, and then plugins, and then essentials, we now have all of the configuration options that we need to be able to configure essentials how we want it. And that's pretty much it. So what we will do is just to make sure that our service is online, we're just gonna try and connect to it. And there we go, we're fully connected to our server. As you can see in the background, I'm not gonna show you the entire thing, but you, I, the UUID of a player is connected with the name Izio, and I joined the server, and there we go. That's it, That that's how easy it is to join into a Minecraft server once it's set up. As long as you get the port set correctly, um, you can then make the changes that you need to make from there. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Have a good day.